Hello beautiful world, this is Isabella Hrobak, an owner and founder of Authentic Wellbeing Company and the host of today's beautiful show. Welcome to the episode, welcome to this show. Today we are going to talk about my recent experiment, about the experiment about food and workout tracking. I believe this topic is really hot in today's world because we all are either in the situation where we are still in the obsession about our food intake, about food, nutrition, dieting and workouts, overtraining, training, undertraining, all those aspects. Maybe some of us have been there, maybe some of us has never been there, which is also a good thing. Um, but actually not bad. And for even those of you who has never been there, I would like you to listen, listen to this episode and my recent re discoveries with that experiment. So you can find more about the past, what happened in the past in my life, what brought me to this place today to share with you this results of this experiment in my blog, which I'm going to post the link below in this video. So you can go out there and read a little more about that. But for those of you who don't know me at all, just to sum up, I've been in the fitness industry and working in the fitness industry and I still work f for around almost five years. And I've been bodybuilder, I've been professional athlete, fitness model and all those things, which eventually brought me to the extreme, extreme food obsession and extreme obsessive uh, tracking, tracking of every single pinch of the salt, spices, food I was taking in. So 16 months ago, around 16 months ago, I hit the wall where I was really, really extremely bulimic, anorexic, and I just couldn't manage it anymore. And I was obsessively tracking. So of course I needed to seek out the help, which I did, and my obsession with tracking needed to stop. My weighting, my measurements, everything needed to stop. That was one, of course, of the requirements of entire process for me to start healing mentally, emotionally on that body image issues, on that issues and obsessions about food and about eating and all these eating disordered issues I was dealing with. It was a hard thing. It was a hard thing because I was obsessively tracking and measuring since around four years every single day, every single day. So to, to stop that, it was really, yeah, it was powerful, but it was freaking hard. Anyway, I did it. 16 months, fast forward 16 months to today's day, actually not today, but just a week later, a week ago, I decided to pull up the app again actually download it back again on my phone and open it and start tracking. Start tracking my food intake. I didn't make that decision right away, just automatically because I started getting into obsessive mode or having issues with my body image and so on. It was more about a curiosity, how I am eating, what I can learn today from the app who is measuring food intake, calories in and out, and how is that going to be impacting my day, my mental health, my emotional health? I've done a heavy load of work on myself for the last 16 months. Am I resistant or not? Every single thing I believe strongly, every single thing we put work on ourselves, any type of self-help work we do, we kind of need to practice this in the actual field and actual scenarios and environment. So yes, I was free of obsession about tracking food, about tracking workouts, about measuring. I didn't weigh myself for that 16 months, so I was fine, right? But now let's hit the reality and see if I'm really truly fine. I made sure that I am conscious about what I'm doing. I made sure that I was fully aware that this is my decision and I made, con made sure also that I have a still full support of people around me just in case. Because Yes, in my case, it was very unhealthy, almost 
<laughs> mental disorder related to the obsession of tracking. And it was freaking amazing. It was really amazing discovery. It took me just one or two days to actually realize that this is not for me anymore. This is not for me anymore. The first thing, first thing first, I got kind of pissed off. I'm like, really? App, algorithm in that app is going to tell me what my body needs and what my body feels? Hmm, when my body is hungry? I don't think so. Another thing I discovered was I was a little scattered and confused about the fact that that algorithm in that app knew better what my body needed and halfway through the day was already telling me what I should, what I shouldn't have because already red colors, alarms, notifications, you are over that part, you're under, you should be eating this, you shouldn't be eating that. And that was just half a day and I was like hungry and I wanted to eat and I wanted to give my body healthy food. And that was like really amazing discovery. I literally smiled to my face. I put that phone on in front of me and I was like, that's it. I am totally healed. I don't need that anymore. Why don't I need that anymore? Because I am totally tuned in with my body and I totally believe that the wiser wizard, the wiser the we, wiser woman, the wiser person, the wiser wizard on this planet is your own body for yourself. And that was my body. My body knew how it feels. It was literally telling me by symptoms, by behavior, by energy level, by moods, by emotionalities, how I feel, how, what I need what I don't need, how can I take care of myself, what should I eat, what should I not eat, should I work out or should I not work out, and how long should I work out or how long shouldn't I work out, and all those things, when can I eat, when I cannot eat, where I feel bloated or where I feel fully energetic and amazing, is this food good for me or not, this knowledge and all those informations I gained from my body, not from the app. No. Throughout the day, for those two days of tracking, I literally hit situations where I was like, no, I know better than you. I know better what I need. I know better how I feel. Yes, don't take me wrong. I encourage and I start many, many nutritional programs with my clients from tracking. Is it either written journal or is it an app? It's their choice as soon as they do track. And this is for creating not only a habit, but also bringing the awareness around understanding what particular macros are, how much, when, and you know, they need those macros. And also how that amount and those particular macros are relating to their actual daily lifestyle, energy level, and also how other lifestyle components are impacting what they are also eating, how they are eating. So they can see that beautiful interactions between a fact, numbers, as well as their own bodies, what they are telling them, their energies, their symptoms, their everything what uh, the body can tell you. And as soon as they see that tracking becomes an obsession and takes over, takes over that understanding and that tuning in into body, then I right away make sure that they stop tracking and they start listening. Because literally, in the end of the game, this is what will happen, your body. This is what your body will exactly tell you what you need. Your body will exactly tell you how much you need to eat, what you need to eat, about your sleep, about your rest, about everything what you need to know. No, there is no single app out there which can substitute the wisdom of your own body. You can have them as a support tools. You can have them as an extra tool. But if that tool is taking over the actual, actual wisdom of your body, actual knowledge of your body, actual awareness of your body, 
that is not the way to go because in the end you will end up in the closed end uh, way where you will be struggling with obsessions, restrictions, deprivations, dieting, yo-yo dieting, constant like this this vicious cycle where the you know where you will be running back and forth, back and forth, looking for something else, something else, new app, new diet, new fix, qu uh, quick fix, just to solve some issues. But underlying root causes are somewhere else. And that is your body. That is your body telling you, hey, listen to me. Something is aching. Something is not fine. I'm craving this. I'm not craving that. I feel bloated. I feel not rested, not enough sleep. All those cues are coming from your body. And those are the only one you should probably listen at first before, before seeking out any another tools. And again, one more time, don't take me wrong. Tools are also very important for our work, for like every single video you watch. I'm sharing many tools with you. I'm sharing many wisdoms and uh, wisdom and practices. All of them are just tools for the most beautiful work you can do to listen and tune in with your body. And your body will literally tell you everything. So that was my discovery and really amazing, really powerful. And in the end, it really brought me to one beautiful grounded message. This is what I wish for every single one of you. I've been there, I've been there, I've been there. Now I'm here. And I wish for every single one of you that that intunement, that awareness, that mindfulness, that listening intuitively, to your body wisdom on physical, mental, spiritual, and emotional level is the most beautiful, the most life-changing, the most successful and sustainable way to go in your self-help work. And I wish that this, this is something what every one of you will strive for, will try for, will heed towards. And my goal and my job here is to bring awareness to that. My goal is to teach every single of you, whoever want to go back to that primal, most important wisdom of your life, your body. This is what I wanted to share with you. I think... Um, I, I hope you like that. I hope you, you got something out of this video. Please share this video with anybody you think that may help. Maybe someone is struggling in your environment with such obsessions already. And maybe you don't know how to reach out to them or to talk to them about that. Maybe sending that video may help partially, at least for them to start looking at the tank a little differently. I needed help that time when I hit that wall 16 months ago. And if some of you need help, reach out. Reach out to anybody you feel trusted in and you feel safe around. Is it me? Is it someone else? Is it another coach? Anybody. If you struggle and don't know how to reach out and where to reach out, also hit me up, hit somebody, somebody. Because you never know, there are people out there to help you. And this could be really life devastating. I've been there. It was very extreme. It was very extreme. So if you need help, reach out, reach out. We are here to help you. We are here, here to guide you and direct you to the to, to, to proper uh, places where you need to be. And uh, also in the meantime, for those of you who resonate with the message I am delivering, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel because I am sharing more and more, more and more information about intunement, alignment, awareness of your own body and how to live our life with that intuitive, beautiful wisdom we carry in our own bodies, within ourselves. Thank you so much. Stay, stay authentic to yourself. I love you all and I see you in the next episode.